Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to yet another Versus Beers with me, Peter the hey. Master of Hoppets. Today, joined by Him Icon, the General of Gruzin. Yes, and uh, this is round two of Monkish versus Electric Brewing Triple IPA Battle. <laughs> we already did a battle, and Monkish came out strong with Still Digging versus Sorcerers and Fiends by Electric Brewing. So, we recently got some more. Monkish beer and electric beer. Well, this was the only electric beer, but from uh, Martin. And uh, I was like, let's do another battle and see if <laughs> Monkish still reigns supreme or it will be electric that reigns supreme. And the last time we started with Monkish, so I think this time we should start with electric. That sounds only fair. Yes. So we're checking out the electric. Well, this is not only electric brewing, it's a collab with Equilibrium. And this is their sorcery and science. And this is the Monkish. Breaker Breaker. John Breaker Breaker. Yes. Both are double dry hop triple IPAs. Well, actually, this says double dry hop triple IPA. The Monkish one does not say double dry hop triple IPA. It just says triple IPA. They're both around close to four weeks uh, or just four weeks old. So, yeah, you can see there, 11, 11. So, yeah, they're four weeks, both of them. This is actually a little bit older. So yeah, it will be fun to see which one is best this time around. But as I said, I think we should start out with the uh, electric one, which is a triple IPA, double yes. dry hop, cold up with liquid, it is rim hopped with Citra and Galaxy. Yeah. So three hops. No, two hops. Two hops, three hops. Three hops. Yes. Yeah. And 10%, 10.1%. So if we start out with the electric here, it's a bit muddy. Is it slightly gray? I, I'm afraid I of oxidation. I don't know or if, it's, if it's just that it has a bit of a... Condensation, or maybe it's something. just like greenish I mean, in color because it, of hops. It, it does look a bit murky. Yeah, of course it does. It's a new I mean, yeah, but, yeah, but it's but like greenish like, yeah, or gray, greenish. Gray, or greenish. It could yeah. also just be greenish color from yeah. the amount of hops they put in this, because it could look like some of the trub you pour out uh, after dry hopping and yeah. you're in IPA. But I mean, it's... You can, the monkish looks much better yeah, in color. Can, it's can, much more bright yeah, it, it with a little bit of orange, but yeah. very similar colors. Uh, white head. Let's check out Electric Brewing, Sorcerers, yeah. and Science with Equilibrium. Yeah, it smells quite nice. It's yeah, not but... as singy and bright as some of the other uh, IPAs we had earlier today. No, but it's also no. just a week older. Yeah. But yeah. I'm no, getting... it is a bit like laid down and more. Yeah, it's a bit more. It's not as in your face, but no. quite tropical. Mostly, I think it's just like sweet tropical food. Yeah, most yeah. Definitely some sweet cantaloupe melon. There's definitely a big yeast profile on it. I think. Yeah. It but isn't it, as bright. But it has a yeah. little bit of a chalky thing. Yeah. I think almost, which the last chalky. Yeah, almost like oh, it's okay. a cake like, oh, yeah, yeah. like with just yeah, like I can it. I see that. But yeah, it's like mostly definitely cantaloupe, like lots of cantaloupe melon, yeah. lots of uh, sweet sweet tropical food. I mean, much sweeter smelling than monkish and Almost not a bit really that thing. Lactose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also a triple IPA. Yeah, so. I guess so. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Definitely some sweet citrus. Lots of sweet citrus too, but it smells mm. nice. It doesn't smell oxidized per no, se. So no. let's try it. Cheers and thanks to Martin. Nope, it's definitely not oxidized. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> wow. That's it. That's um I mean, you wouldn't think much from the aroma, but no. wow, that is an explosion of flavor. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because the flavor is totally different. Like, it's yeah. one of those where you're a little bit disappointed by the aroma, but then yeah. the flavor is just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit boozy. Or maybe it's not alcohol. It could also be a hop bite. There's definitely a bite to it. Oh, yeah, that's a I bite. think it might be hops. I'm not entirely sure. It might be a bit of a mix. Yeah. And that, I mean, there's no heat or anything, but uh, no. but it is um, there's a bite. Yeah, yeah. There's a lingering, yeah, strong sensation. Yeah. I think it might be a mix of alcohol and hops. Yeah. Um, but in terms of flavor, mm -hmm. it has a little bit of a green bitter hop yeah. thing, just a yeah. little bit without it being too much. But mostly, it's like sweet tropical fruit for me, mm -hmm. like mango, papaya, again a bit of jackfruit, and then some of the sweet kind of mm -hmm. overripe. Melons, but this is really overripe compared to the other monkish beer. Oh yeah, yeah. It's much more juicy, like yeah. estuary juicy. Yeah, but I'm I'm happy Sweet. I'm happy that there is a, like a bitter backbone to it. I actually yeah. do like the bite of it. Yeah. Because uh, 
that, that's what what I usually don't like about triple IPAs is that they get just too sweet. Yeah. And unbalanced. But this yeah, is, it's nice uh, that there's a bite to it. Yeah. But this is this is pretty nice. But again, with New England triple IPAs, it's scary how drinkable sometimes they are, especially oh, yeah. when there's temperature. When yeah. they warm up, I think they get cloying. Yeah. But cold. Man, this is beer that will get you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and and um, I mean, it, I, I don't think the mouthfeel, I mean, it is a bit thicker than the... Yeah, but I don't think it's too no. far off from a no. bomb atomic thing. No, it's not. Because they're quite similar. They're thick yeah. and creamy and velvety. Yeah. Uh, it's very close, but this definitely mm. has a bigger hop bite. Yeah. Like, there is that slight green, mm. but maybe... The green kind of ish color or whatever hue to the beer might be because we got cans from the last part of the canning line when they're almost getting close to emptying the tank. So there's more hop matter in it. But then since that it's might be a month old, four weeks, there's not really any, you know, spicy hop thing. But this is, you know, people go nuts for this. And I can see why. It's yeah. really good. But I will say I did definitely did prefer Sorceress and Fiends over this. That was a bit is more... Also tasty. Tri triple IPA. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, so just it was a bit more complex, but I think that was also slightly fresher. Yeah. But I still think it's a nice triple IPA. And again, mm. it's not my preferred style of IPA. But let's move on to Monkish's uh, Breaker Breaker with the Jawbreaker, as it says on, on the can. <laughs> Amazing label. And then it's the Monkish logo in the middle of the Jawbreaker. Yeah. Um, this triple IPA has got a similar hot bill. It's got Galaxy, but then instead of Citra, it's got Straza, but also Big Secret hops. And this is 10.1%, hmm. uh, so slightly stronger. This looks more appetizing. Yeah, yeah. Just because it's, it's a, I mean, pure, it, full on. It looks beer. more like the other monkey beers, beers we've yeah. had. So, quite similar. Full on haze. Yeah. Uh, slightly orange swell but otherwise like very bright both of them uh, yeah. just like the other monkey spears yeah. very bright yeah. yellow with yeah. a hint of orange a white i mean it's beautiful looking beers yeah it is let's check out your own one breaker breaker yeah. <laughs> oh yeah that's a <laughs> seriously that's just sad. smelling it yeah. on its own you can smell instantly which one you prefer like holy shit it's got such so much more of a punch wow yeah. but i think it has a slightly unique Pop profile yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like kiwi fruit or something like. As, I mean, it's a lot more punchy than. Uh, than the, it's just yeah. like, yeah. and they're yeah. canned within three days of each other, so it's totally a fairer versus yeah. beers. But it was the same feeling with uh, <laughs> when, when we did still digging and the sorcerer. Like the, the, this one was really good and it's really fucking good. But Marcus is just like, it's got that much more snap. And the interesting thing on the aroma, you know, it, it doesn't say it's double dry hopped. No. It just, it's got more sing. So I'm getting lots of brightness paired. It's yeah. similar to the others. Lots of brightness paired with sweetness and tropical fruit. So I'm yeah. getting lots of pineapple, passion fruit, like bright nuances. I thought there was, there's like almost like kiwi fruit or something uh -huh. like that. Like a cool kiwi kind of vibe. Uh -huh. Kiwi. Yeah. And then yeah. definitely yeah. also, but it's okay. almost like a, it's not as overripe. It's no, more, no. it's more just like fresh tropical fruit. Yeah. I would even... I mean, I, I think it even smells a bit like like some passion fruit or some uh, yeah some uh, yeah some some singy fruits. Yeah, it has more sing to it, mm. like that like <laughs> that, that yeah. waft of intensity. Yeah, it's a exactly. bit higher, a bit a bit of brightness. It's not really dank as the uh, automically was. That was no. the dank, and actually it was, the, the Nelson one was also slightly dank. Mm. But you don't get that dankiness no. in this aroma. And there is a little bit of. I mean, there's also a little like bit it. of chewing gum. Yeah, 100%. Like, I, mean, like, I guess there's a reason why they put a yeah. jawbreak on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually. And I think it has definitely more yeast character of like yeah. a bubblegummy chew, yeah. a, a bubblegum yeah. thing yeah. Than, yeah. than some of the others. And the like, multi-fruit vitamin kind of, yeah. uh, multi-fruit juice. Um, Tropical fruit juice. But also definitely like some stone fruit. But it's like, this is just like this huge melange of everything. Like, you, like often I feel like I, you know, I pay all the go all the way, or, or sometimes go to like bright, or then they're like really sweet or juicy. It's like, mm. this is like just the perfect mix of all of it. Cause like I'm getting loads of like, like the passion fruit and pineapple as you say, then I'm getting that cool kind of kiwi note. There's uh, lots of like bubble gum on this, much more, like probably the most bubble gummy monkish beer I've had. But it's it's uh, fun how, I mean, how different they smell. Well, they're vastly different. Yeah. This has much more like a green hot matter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Wow. Yeah, but it smells. This smells fantastic. Let's give yeah. Breaker Breaker a taste. Cheers. Good. Thank Cheers. you, Ben Martin. Mm. Yeah. Fuck. That is so good. <laughs> Easy winner again. I'm gonna call it before we even like <laughs> just we smell it. About... Monkish yeah. like is still the king yeah. of fucking hazies. I mean, wow, it's, uh, it's 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 a lot more balanced than this is. Yes, I mean, a lot it's more. For, this is a ten percent beer. Yeah. This is drinking yeah. like the balance on the monkish beers are insane. Yeah, and this is just such more of a cool mm -hmm. combination of hop flavor. Mm -hmm. It's almost like slightly coconutty too. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah. And that might be from Straza, and then there's like lime, there's pineapple, there's passion mm. fruit, there's like overripe cantaloupe, and then yeah. and, and like uh, honeydew melon, but not like too overripe. Hints of spiciness, but much less spicy mm. and green notes and it's, compared to sorcerers it's, and science. There's a bit of danginess as well, but it's, yeah, a, it's a nice one, it's a very nice one. Yeah, and it's, like, but it's like, light, it's very, like, it's, it's very light. light. Yeah, it's very, um, yeah. Holy shit, this is good IPA. It's amazing. Oh. And it's so flavorful. Again, the mouthfeel mm. is like super velvety and mm. coating and fluffy. Let's try and have some of the other one. Oh, the, I mean. The mouthfeels are quite similar. Wow. Monkish is just like, this is really fucked. Like if we, if we reviewed this on, a, on its own, I think I would maybe enjoy it more. But the Monkish is just miles. I'm not miles, but it's, Definitely the easy winner. I think, I mean, if I had a can by myself, I think this would be easier to drink, to be honest. But Just because of the spiciness or what? Yeah, because it's, uh, yeah. A bitterness. This is more bitter. It's a bit more simple. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. It's a bit more classic. Yeah. yeah. I guess in terms of like the tropical overripe flavors. And yeah, but because I think when this warms up a bit more, it could be, I mean, but, but that's because I don't... Uh, like, yeah, and usually yeah, the triple IPAs yeah. can be, get a bit too much. Coin. And usually, yeah. I would never go for triple IPA. Yeah. Uh, it's just you know when it's sold in packs, we get them, yeah. and it's just monkish. But it's like yeah, it's still extraordinarily good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I like it as much as still digging, mm. but it's you know it's around the same territory. I'm, so yeah, I think ninety seven for for uh, Breaker Barrier, mm -hmm. and then I still think this is actually world class New England IPA. But it's just not as up far, so I would say straight 95. Because I still think this is... Don't get me wrong, this is fucking electric, it's fucking dope New England IPA. It's just exactly what you want, but it's mm. just a bit more green and a bit more, you know, classic New England IPA. This has some more cool flavors and it's just like more brightness and more complexity. But if I made this, I'd be fucking stoked that I brewed this beer. So it's still world-class New England IPA. <laughs> Both are world-class, it's just like monkish, it's just fuck. They totally, 100% nailed the style. And I love that it's not, like, it's so balanced. Yeah. It's not all crazy, because it's a balance of crazy not, amounts of hot yeah. flavor and juicy yeast profile and everything. It's not just one, and yeah. it's... It's not all sweet it's or all right dank or... or if it, yeah. It's just, yeah. It's perfect. So 97 for Breaker Breaker, because I think I enjoyed still digging a bit more because it was a bit more, like, bright and, and singing and complex still, like... Maybe, you know, if I had them side by side, it'd be a different story. So, yeah. Okay, let's say 97, 98, something like that. I, this <laughs> is just world-class triple IPA. And I never go nuts for triple IPA, but fuck, that's delicious. Yeah. And then 95 for, Monkey, uh, for the Electric and the uh, Equilibrium collab. Sorcerers and Science. Very good. But Monkish is still the king. Yeah. What do you think? I think uh, 96, 95. 96, 95. Yeah. Uh, for 95 for the... 95 for, for yeah. For the... Sorcery and Science. Yeah. Electric and Equipment. But fuck, we've had some amazing new that I paid today. This is the yeah. last <laughs> one, though. But uh, finishing on a high note. Yeah. We might try some more. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we probably will. We got some uh, hype barrel aged barley wine, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Danish, I think. From so. Danish. Yeah. That's true. So if you guys had a chance to try either Monkish Breaker Breaker or Equilibrium uh, uh, Electric Brewing or Electric Brewing and Equilibrium Sorcery <laughs> and Science, let us know what you thought of them. Fucking great IP, triple IPAs. Again, not a style I'm usually enjoying too much, but when they're done this well, they're just yeah, with yeah, any beer yeah. when they're done crazy well, they're great. I mean you can you can really 
taste the craftsmanship that goes into these yeah. beers. There's, there's no doubt about that. I mean, and it's, it's just world class beer. Yeah, yeah. And I used to stand by the sentiment I said earlier, like they still got a tea over Europe with this stuff. I mean, there's so many breweries in Europe doing this very greatly, but they've spent a lot of time just brewing this over and over again. And that's why it tastes as good as it does. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of European brewers, brewers doing that now and they're getting very close, but man, great, great, great. So no, I guess no. it's also accessibility of hops. When they use American hops in these beers, they get mm. them as fresh as they can because they're in the States. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm and they get sure to, that it they do hop picking good. and all this stuff. Like I know a lot of hop picking. They get to smell crop numbers okay. and say, "I want crop number that because that smells better than crop number that." It's. I know that's, a lot of European uh, breweries do that now too. But. That's just a fantasy here in Europe, isn't it? Nah, some do it here in Europe too. But okay. I think first picks are a lot of these brewers. Yeah. In the states, but yeah, fantastic stuff. So if you guys had either of these two, let us know what you thought of them. Thanks a ton, Martin. This was fun to do another versus beers. On the monkish and electric brewing. <laughs> and yeah, if you guys have neither, let us know. either, let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Ring the bell for future notifications about beer reviews and other uh, videos. <laughs> what's going on? We've had 10% beer. That's what's going and on. And amazing food. So. Yeah, and amazing food. And uh, yeah, you're going to see this when they are probably two months old. But hey, we drank them fresh. Yeah. Christmas calendar is happening. So cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.